Hi everyone, in today's video we will look at how to install Stable Diffusion 1.5. There are a number of steps, some easy steps that you need to uh, go through in order to install it locally on your Windows machine. Let's get started. All right, let's get started with installing Stable Diffusion 1.5. Here are some minimum requirements, a GPU of 6 GB, a 15 GB of hard disk storage, and make sure that you have Windows 8, 11, or 10. The first step is to install Python. This is very important. We'll go to their website and make sure we install the Windows 64 installer 64-bit. Uh, um, I'm going to click on install now. Make sure to add the add Python to path. That step is extremely important. Otherwise, it's going to cost you a lot of trouble later down the road. I'm going to let it um, install. And then when it's completely done, I'm just going to hit the close button and move on to step number two. And that is to install Git for Windows. I will head to their website and make sure to click on the download button right there at the beginning of the website and have the file. I'm going to run it. It's an exe file. I'm going to hit next. Uh, you can go and proceed by hitting next, next on all these different screens. You don't really need to make any additional tweaks. Just go with the defaults and keep going until you reach to the very end of this installation step. Um, once you are done, we're just going to wait a couple of uh, seconds for this uh, application to install on our computer. Once we're done, we'll hit finish. We're done with step two. Moving on to step three, download Automatic 11.11. There is a link in the bio. It's to GitHub uh, repository for Automatic 11.11. Make sure you copy the git clone, copy this whole command. Okay, and then we are going to our uh, C drive. This is where we're going to install everything. So I would like to start with a new folder called AI. And then from there, I'm going to simply uh, click right here and open in terminal. And that's where I'm going to paste the command that I just copied, the git clone. And what this will do essentially is copy all the files from GitHub to my desktop. That way I can run it locally on my machine. Now, if I go and browse the folder, as you can see, the folder AI I just created, I see there's a stable diffusion web UI folder, and that's where everything is placed. The next step is to go in the models folder and inside the stable diffusion folder. And that's where we need to put the model. Now, this is part of step four. But before we do that, we have to sign up to Hugging Face. That's where the model is actually placed. So if you don't have an account, it's really quick and easy. Just put in your email, agree to the terms, make sure you pass the uh, prompts here, and there you go. And once you are logged in to Hugging Face, you just have to go back to the Stable Diffusion 1.5 and simply click on pruned EMA only CKPT and click on the download. Now, wait for a few minutes. Um, it's uh, several gigabytes, uh, four point something. So wait for it to download. And then when it's ready, you can simply um, uh, copy the file. And uh, right here, it's in my download folder. I'm gonna cut it actually, because I don't need it elsewhere. And then I'm going to navigate to my C drive, AI, Stable Diffusion, under the models and under the Stable Diffusion model, that's where you need to paste the uh, CKPT file or the model file for the 1.5. Okay, that step is done. Ideally, this is all you need to do, but we're gonna do some several steps. We're gonna go to the web UI user file and uh, try to edit it. I want to include the Python path into that line. I'm going to add it right here. In order to do that, I need to look for Python in my computer. So I'm going to search for Python. Here's the app. All right. I'm going to uh, 
uh, simply open the folder and as you can see it's right here it's saying uh, start menu programs I'm going to right click copy as path but notice here I made a mistake when the mistake is is you can look at the file path it's ending with LNK that's really a shortcut link it's not the actual path to the executable file and what we need is the exe file so keep that in mind when you're doing your uh, copying of the of the path it's very important to copy the right one i'm going to go again and show you what you need to do because if you were to run everything as is right now it's not going to work so what you have to do is again go to python open file location and then from here, you have to say open file location again, because a shortcut will definitely lead you to the actual file. And from there, you copy as path. So two steps in such a case. Sometimes it might work for you because your search results in Windows are going to simply lead you to the exe file, and that works fine. So that step is done. I'm going to save the file, all right, and go back and try to run it. Um, obviously, as you can tell, there is an issue here. It's asking about install, installing uh, Torch, which is um, uh, an additional plugin, if you say, if you if you will, that needs to be installed on top of Python. Python needs a lot of libraries, and Torch is one of them. So we need to make sure that everything is installed correctly. Now. In retrospect, what has happened in this case, and that's the reason I'm facing this issue, is because um, Stable Diffusion does have a folder that includes some Python scripts or Python files, and it's kind of looking for those first. So the solution to this problem is to actually go inside your scripts folder, as you can tell under Stable Diffusion, uh, the invi script folder cut these files out there are two python files here just make sure you delete them if you want um, and get rid of them and when that happens your uh, global python uh, file will kick in and take precedence so that's what you need to do and now as you can see it's installing torch that step is getting uh, cleared out in this case and um, let's see what's going to happen next. We're going to simply wait uh, for some time, uh, get yourself some coffee or something, uh, wait. This uh, step might take anything between 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your computer. And now, when I navigate to my uh, port or to my URL and select the Stable Diffusion Checkpoint, uh, which is our model, I'm going to type something and there you go the application is working perfectly now. So, in retrospect, this is a really good application for you to start with. Um, obviously, now there are newer versions of Stable Diffusion. There's the 2.0, the 2.1, and also additional 2. Point and maybe 3. Point. So, but that is the first step. Uh, all the steps that we carry through today are very essential in uh, making sure that you have automatic 11.11 installed on your computer and all, of course having the latest and the greatest copy of uh, Stable Diffusion locally so that you are able to run it. Um, of course, as I mentioned before, there are some prerequisites. You need to have a good GPU with a good uh, VRAM. Uh, you need to have a fast computer, a good CPU as well. That all plays a role. So if you have all these prerequisites running Windows 8, uh, 10 or 11, you're good to go. Uh, there is a way for you to install Stable Diffusion on a Mac uh, computer if that's your uh, choice but the steps are more um, intense and it might need a lot of more um, uh, advanced uh, knowledge in in installing it um, that's it for today i'm going to have another video for you how to install uh, stable diffusion 2.0 and another video on how to install stable diffusion 2.1 and of course the next iteration of Stable Diffusion, the major one that is coming up, will also be linked up here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video on Geek. 
jeek.com. If you like it, please subscribe and give me the thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you need me to talk about something else in particular. Just like Automatic 1111, there is also something uh, called invoke.ai. It's another web service, web interface that you can uh, actually put on your computer. And if you want me to have a special video about that, please let me know. Until the next video, have a great day. Bye bye.